Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial with me, Claris. In today's video, we are learning how to paint these leaves. This is based off a very current reel that I created and uh, it seemed to gain a lot of traction, a lot of interest, and I thought, let's just do a video using two other granulating colors and showcasing and explaining my technique for how to get beautiful flow contrast and whatnot in my leaves. So here goes, these are the supplies I'm using. I'm using my uh, Supervision water granulating watercolors. We're using the color Spring Bud, which is the light green, and then Red Navy, which is the darker shade over here. We're also using, for brushes, my Princeton Neptune number no. eight, Princeton Velvet Touch number no. four, and the Princeton Round Heritage number no. one. I've got my palette ready over here by Patty. This is the palette that I use for all my granulating colors. And then for paper, we're using the Paul Rubens Sketch Block. Before we begin, I just want to remind you guys, if you like videos of the floral kind or leaves, please do subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for this video. It really does help my channel grow and I'm able to create more videos for you guys. All right, let's begin. So let's just, let me just break down what we're doing today. We are going to be painting leaves and they're very basic, they're very simple, but it's going to be more of a pattern. And here's what I'm gonna be using to create these leaves. We'll be using the, uh, let me just break down what the brushes will be doing. So the number four or the number one for our stems and then the number eight will be for the actual leaves themselves. You can also fluctuate between the number eight and the number four for your leaves depending on how big you want your leaves or if you want your leaves to have a pointed edge, more organic round shapes, that sort of thing. So here we go. I'll be using a mixture of both the, the two colors that I mentioned, the Spring Bud and Red Navy. I'll start off with using the Spring Bud first. I've got some color over here, so I'm just getting a little bit of water and mixing it onto some of the Spring Bud. And so I'll do a little bit of Spring Bud leaves and then we'll sort of fluctuate into the Red Navy to get a little bit of more practice. This also creates great contrast because this color is super bright while this one is very dark and contrasty for lack of a better word. All right, so here we go. Rubbing my brush against my palette area here to make sure I don't have too much water or color on there. Nice fine pointed tip. And we're gonna start off by doing, I like to start off diagonally typically. So I'm gonna start off by doing a stem starting from, from below here, lightly grazing, going all the way across. Dipping my brush in water, getting a little bit more color. We're gonna start creating some additional stems that are protruding from it. And then we do our leaves. So the leaves are very, very basic and simple. You're literally doing, you're starting from the tip of your brush, pressing down and trailing off. So let's just put this brush aside and I'm gonna get my number eight. And here we go. Getting some nice rich color. So I wanna get that nice tip. So I'm just lightly brushing my brush at the side over here, getting that nice tip. I'm gonna start with the tip here, press down and trail off. And you can push the color along. Same thing here, starting with the tip, press down, trail off. You can kind of close it off if you wanna make the leaf slightly thicker. So you see how this was one stroke, this was two strokes. So it really depends on what your preference is. There we go, let's just create the same thing over here and I'm going to kind of intersect this over the main stem a little bit. So you can see how big our leaves can get using the number eight. So if you wanna control them a little bit more and get smaller looking leaves, you can flip over to the number four. And let's just do one more here. So 
So it's literally a lot of repetition and just kind of grazing and moving along. So I'm going to revert back to my number four and we're going to just finish this first stem off before we move on to the darker color. So for this portion, feel free to use the number one if you wish. Uh, because I had some color on the number four, I'm just going to use the number four. And I'm extending, again, using just the tip of this brush, I'm going to lightly graze and just extend and I get this super fine line. Um, so I'll use this brush and create a couple of leaves, sorry, stems first, extending from our main stem. And then here's our leaves. Dipping the tip of my brush in water, pressing down, trailing off. And I wanna give it more of a thicker bottom so I'm kind of adding more, added that second stroke to thicken it. Here we go, same thing here. But this time what I did was I pressed down and then I kind of did an S. Let's do that again. And let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see me do that. So here we go, pressing this, trailing with the tip, pressing down and then kind of trailing off. So that's another way to sort of create thicker leaves by really pressing down on your brush and kind of trailing off. Um, let me see if I can find a sheet to kind of do a quick, really rough version of it so you can watch it one more time. So say we've got a stem this way. I'm using the point to start where the stem ends, pressing down and then trailing off and you've got like this really organic looking leaf shape and that's all because we have done one simple thing which is just pressing down and sort of trailing off it takes a little bit of practice so what I would say is just get a sheet create some stems and then do the leaves and then just have them connecting a very, very fun exercise, really helps you get to know your uh, your brushes and everything, plus getting better with leaves. All right, so using the number four, I've activated some of the red navy, and we're going to do our second sprig. I also went ahead and created a couple of additional leaves here just to kind of suit my taste or satisfaction, whatever you want to call it. So same thing we're going to do. We're just going to do another sprig or stem rather, and then do our leaves. Once again, uh, we are adding this color to create contrast because this is a super bright uh, granulating shade that we used here. So we're going to use the, the nice dark shade of uh, red navy. So I'm going to start this stem from the top. I want to make sure nothing is damp here and I'll start it this way. Lightly grazing. And then I'm going to extend the first stem for this one here. We've got a little bit of a weird thing there. It's okay, I'll just make it a thicker bottom for the stem. Just gotta learn how to roll with the punches too when you start painting this way. Just figure out how you can make it work without it, without you having to start all over again sort of situation. Okay, so I like to do one. The main one is super long, one over here, and then usually like a third one protruding off to this side. And then from these, you do, you do more extensions for, I guess, other leaves, you could say. So just like that, I'm going to add one on this side. Again, lightly grazing the tip. And the color that I'm using here is additionally dark. So like more color, less water. So we get nice dark leaves in comparison to our green. 
And again, for our leaves, we are using, making sure there's not a lot of water, using the fine tip, pressing down, trailing off. And then I'm dipping the tip of my brush in water, and I'm going to create another similar stroke just to thicken the leaf. And then you just take some color and just add it to the bottom of this leaf and you can sort of push the color around, darken the area, get some really nice variations of color happening. And take your time to like really graze with the tip and then press down and connect to the bottom there. And then these are helpful when you do stems kind of like in arc shapes because then you're giving direction or movement to your leaves and they're not just stoic and straight, if that makes any sense. So same repetition, I'm going to use the number one shortly and we'll do extra fine or extra small leaves. Just to add more contrast in terms of size to this. So we're pretty much almost done with this. I'm gonna control the size of this leaf. Add that there, let's just do a couple more at the top. So for this one at the top here, it would be nice to take the number eight and do it if you wish. And just maybe even add it, make, make the consistency of the the color extra watery in comparison to the others which are extra potent and rich looking almost like a gouache just do a lone leaf over here and again if it's super light you can always dab in extra color at the tip of the leaf and also at the bottom here where it connects to the stem. So now I have my heritage number one and let's just do a couple more extensions to this guy and then maybe like some sprigs of grass or something. Super fine, beautiful fine point tip for tinier details. So let's just go with the punches we're doing uh, the exact same thing that we did with the previous brushes, just using a smaller brush. And you can see we're getting some beautiful tiny little leaves on a smaller scale. You can overlap, that's fine. Kind of adds some nice detail to our painting. So I'm going to add one more stem here, kind of just kind of overlapping the green a little. You can see how the tiny leaves next to the larger leaves really kind of enhance the composition. And I'll do a little bit of a splatter here using this brush. So the smaller the brush, the smaller the splatter. More water you have on the brush, you can get uh, you can get a looser looking <clears throat> splatter pattern. And I would even take the number eight to get some larger looking splatters, making sure I've got more water. And just kind of add it here and just add it at the top as well. Now this leaf was still damp so I'm getting some beautiful blending happening in there. And I'll do a zoom in so you guys can see that. So I've zoomed in just a tad and I'm holding this up here so you can, you guys can see the, the little flecks of yellow kind of on the background of this bright green. And you can see how these were clearly, these, these leaves clearly had more water in them, which is why you can see more of that yellow with those nice, beautiful, contrasting greens on top. Uh, while, whereas something like this was a lot more color, and even these guys here, a lot more color, less water. And so you can play around with the water to color ratios and consistencies and get varying effects 
based on you know your preference I guess and what you're trying to achieve and then look at the contrasting happening with the darker shade here so this is the yellow the sorry the red navy you can see the tones of red you can see the navy kind of protruding in certain areas like the granulation really has this dramatic effect for it I think it's great for leaves especially if your florals are bright but um, this would be my technique if you're practicing leaves trying to be more of a trying to do paintings with more of a leafy composition with with great flow and whatnot so don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video because I put out so big in our friendly and I do have lives as well so I hope to see you guys on here let me know in the comments what you thought if you end up trying this out please tag me in social media I have my Instagram and Facebook listed below and I would love to see how you guys do and feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all thanks guys for watching and we'll chat soon bye